Alright guys, we are back with a topical video I'm in, and I'm here to talk about 10 issues with the modern day product of WWE. And now I'm thinking about doing two parts of this, maybe the second part is going to be with TNA or maybe it might be just WWE still. But these are my 10 reasons why I think we have issues with the WWE product and I came up with this up. I came up with an idea like this. I, I've been thinking about doing something about talking about how I, uh, issues without the WWE. You know, how I would like, improve the WWE, but I've been thinking how to do it and I thought this way. So, this video is called 10 Issues with the Modern Day WWE Product. At number one, every time you see a Raw and a SmackDown, you always see the same, in, the same boring sets. Even at a pay per view now, you don't even have. Like, they don't even design the sets. They don't even put effort into the sets when you're even at a pay-per-view. I mean, uh, at WrestleMania this year, they did make an effort, but the rest of the time, they just don't make an effort for, like, the pay-per-views. I remember a time in the attitude where they used to make awesome sets when it was a pay-per-view or it was Raw or SmackDown. But now, you've got these cheap-ass, low-budget sets what look like shit, to be honest with you. And I think, you know, with the WWE having all this money, with all the wrestlers that you employ, and all the backstage staff and all the crazy team they employ, that you would have, they have the money to actually go out and, and have good sets for the, the WWE pay-per-views, but apparently they just want the cheap shit, and I think we need better set, uh, stage sets for the pay-per-views and stuff. Number two, the authority suck. I'm tired of seeing the authority on WWE TV. I think that is ruining the product. Uh, I just think that they they were hot in 2013-2014, but this year they're just there to book matches, be in a few segments, and help Seth Rollins a bit, and that's basically about it. And they're just basically I don't want to really see the authority like, all through the night like, when you, when they open the show and then the middle of the show, then the end show. I don't want to really see that. Like it's okay, the authority are okay, but they're not a group I want to see all the time down my throat. So I will, you know what. I don't want to see any more authority. Number three, fire Kevin Dunn. I did this trend on Twitter yesterday that people should that the WWE should fire Kevin Dunn. I totally agree with them. I think Kevin Dunn is a waste of space. This guy is an asshole and doesn't know what is right in professional wrestling. I mean, he doesn't, especially creatively. I mean, he, I don't know. He, I don't know who's worse, Vince Russo or Kevin Dunn, I, I think they're both worse as, as each other to be honest with you, but that's what I personally think. I think Kevin Dunn, if Kevin Dunn left the WWE tomorrow, the WWE would, would probably get better. I know it's a small progress, but it'll get better, and at least younger talent like Kevin Owens and Cesaro and uh, other talent like Dolph Ziggler would get a chance in the main event scene and stay up there maybe for a year or something like that. But, you know... Uh, we got Ke with Kevin Dunn still there, they're probably going to give title shots to Cena all the time, so there we go. Uh, number four, WWE Creative Team sucks. Uh, and basically, the WWE Creative Team, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know. It's not like, we need the WWE Creative Team what we had in the attitude there, basically. I know we're not going to get that, but something similar to that, when there was Crane Storylines, when they had like all the cards sorted out, they had Divas Division sorted out, they had tag division sorted out, they had a strong mid card division, they have a strong main event division, but now we have no divisions, and it doesn't help that you've got John Cena, oh wait, that's the other issue, but like I said, it doesn't help that you've got, you know, the, these, the creative team, you probably, you probably don't know nothing about wrestling, going into a wrestling show, and then they're getting thrown these scripts, hey, uh, make this character, you make this guy, make this, and they don't know what to do, so, yeah, they need me to bring some wrestling guys in there. Like maybe put Paul Heyman backstage again <coughs> and write some stuff for Raw SmackDown. Maybe Zeb Coulter or maybe I don't know, somebody like maybe a Rick Flair or somebody. Somebody who's got a, a lot of wrestling knowledge uh, and a lot of interest in the professional wrestling. Who has actually passion for this business to write. I mean even I I mean I could maybe write some people do I maybe I could write a few stories with Derek Crazy. I don't know, but <coughs> Well, I don't know. Uh, number five, uh, the three-hour Raws are very boring sometimes and suck. I don't. I'm tired of seeing three-hour Raws, and I don't see any any interest or any benefit from watching a three-hour Raw. Like uh, this past week on Raw, 
I was watching uh, the South of the Raw, I was watching Raw, and the only thing I liked from that Raw was the triple threat match. The rest of the show sucked. And that's what we've been having for the last three years now. These three hour Raws that sometimes could be good, sometimes could be great, sometimes could be awesome, which is very rare. And sometimes they're very boring. And I don't want to sit through a boring three hour show. Number six, John Cena. Uh, it doesn't help that John Cena has been on top of us for the ten damn years and still burying talent, not putting them over. I mean, uh, the uh, the issue with WWE is John Cena as well. Not just Kevin Dunn, John Cena as well. John Cena has been on top for ten years. He does put over guys, but not for very long. He buries them soon after. He doesn't. Well, he, he's buried like Dolph Ziggler in the past, Bray Wyatt, Rusev, Ryback. The list goes on. Um, he did put Daniel Bryan, but that's the only person he's put over. And he put over CM Punk, but they have established those things. But what main event has John Cena actually put over? You know? <coughs> it's like when Hogan left WWF, he put over Bret Hart. So Bret Hart was a big star in WWF, wasn't he? And then um, when Bret was going to leave for WCW, Austin got put over by Bret. And then Austin put over Rock, so Rock was the next big star and then after Rock and Austin left it was Mick Foley and Edge and all the other guys and Cena but who's going to take over the John Cena role and who's going to take over the Randy Orton role if they're not going to budge and put over you know younger guys uh, number seven the lack of main eventers like I said uh, WWE just keep putting John Cena in how matches with Randy Orton and Sheamus and they don't really push guys like Cesaro much or Dolph or Ryback. They, I mean, they push them, but they don't push them to the full potentials. And you know, they are, they are, do have a talented roster of mid carders like you know Ryback and Kevin Owens, but they don't push them to the main event scene. Uh, no, no prestige in the titles. Basically, the mid card titles don't have any prestige anymore. The US titles got a bit of prestige. I've seen this on the title. Um, the tag titles don't have much interest, the these titles don't have any interest. Um, the, the even more titles lost the in, the the you know, the interest of the belt as well, which is kinda sad. Um, the ninth issue, Tough Enough is back. When t when every year every few years when they bring Tough Enough back, nobody ever gets to push after they won Tough Enough and why the hell would they bring it back, I don't know. But they brought it back this year and it's just a waste of basically television time. Number 10, a la lack of competition from other wrestling companies. Um, and uh, I think a lot of people wanted a competition for, <coughs> for WWE for a long time. We haven't had that competition um, against WWE for a long time. And that what, that's what I think the main thing that WWE are lacking is competition from like other companies like TNA and Ring of Honor. They don't really challenge themselves to be competition for the WWE. They just every year do their own things and they never challenge the WWE. They never go into the same time zone as WWE, as Raw does or SmackDown. They just kind of do the same thing. So I would like to see maybe more competition with other wrestling brands like TNA and Ring of Honor to get you know get the best of the WWE like we did back in the day when WWE actually found WCW and ECW a threat and they conquered those guys so you know that's all that's it so that right, guys are my 10 issues with the modern day WWE product if you have any issues <coughs> leave your issues leave your thoughts on this in the comments section guys that's watching guys break out